lot of them youths just a waste of way mm, Them a politician, no they try for the case Now so so tiff, then they tiff for Then go carry our money, then go carry them to overseas Na 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 People know they try, try, try Them a loot, them a scam, them a bribe every time Instead make we try, make we find solution We can they fight, we they do corruption in every situation, we need to be better. Me and you. Corruption is not the solution. Say no more looting, no more bribery, no more scamming. Me and you. Me, I know we Me can be you. better, better, better. Me and you. But things can be better if we make ourselves some better people. Happy Public Service Day. The 23rd of June every year is celebrated as both United Nations and African Union Public Service Day to recognize the role of a competent and professional public service in building democracy and successful governance. Today, we shall focus our attention on the contribution of public servants in Nigeria in entrenching transparency and accountability vis-a-vis -vis the fight against corruption. Welcome to Corruption Must Go. ICPC's weekly television program. I am your host, Murna Barnabas Atiai. Joy Aja is here with anti-corruption stories. Hello viewers, thank you for joining us. I am Joy Aja with Anti-Corruption Stories. ICPC has aligned its 2019 to 2023 strategic plan with the National Anti-Corruption Strategy, NECS. The ICPC chairman, Professor Bolaji Owasoonye, SAN, made this disclosure while briefing members of the Senate Committee on Anti-Corruption and Financial Crimes on the level of ICPC's implementation of NECS in Abuja. Professor Wasoye stated that ICPC had incorporated 40 key activities of the NACS 2017 to 2021 into its strategic action plan. The ICPC chairman noted that the major policy NACS anticipated was the national ethics and integrity policy, which according to him, ICPC had succeeded in facilitating and was adopted by the Federal Executive Council in 2020. Uh, with regard to policy, the major policy uh, which the NACs uh, anticipated is the ethics and integrity policy, which ICPC succeeded in facilitating, uh, adopted by government in August 2020 last year. Mr. Chairman, you were part of that process in order. So that policy has been adopted. The most critical anticipation of NACs is mainstreaming the principles of anti-corruption into governance and service delivery. The reality of Nigerians is not about necessarily what goes on in Abuja, but what goes on where they are. Uh, so wherever they are located across the country, if there is a perception or, or an encounter with corruption, that's what they won't deal with. So one of the things we have done is to then review the governance structures and service delivery component with the corruption risk of it, of MDAs. And we do this through uh, three major activities. By the deployment of the ethics compliance scorecard, which is currently ongoing, we evaluate each MDA uh, for a service delivery component and how it keeps records and all that. We do the full blown system study review which involves also talking to, to your stakeholders and uh, consumers. Uh, and the third level is through our interventions with the anti-corruption transparency units, which are embedded in, in MDAs. In his welcome remarks, the chairman of the Senate Committee on Anti-Corruption and Financial Crimes, Senator Suleiman Abdukwari, explained that the briefing became necessary in order to take stock of the successes recorded in the implementation of various objectives of NACS. And in 2017, 
Mr. President launched the National Anti-Corruption Strategy, which by this year will have elapsed. Five years down the line, it will be wise for us to review the progress made so far and determine next steps. Let us measure the success or successes. How far have we been able to succeed? Especially now that we are halfway down the line in the life of the Ninth Senate. And how far have we succeeded in implementation of various objectives of this document? It is worthy of note to state that NSCS is one of the programs adopted by Nigeria to strengthen anti-corruption reforms by exposing and driving out the culture of corruption in the country. In another development, two officials of the Federal Road Safety Corps, Edwin Onyue and Achigile Ogoli, have been arrested by ICPC over certificate forgery. The commission also arrested two members of a certificate forgery syndicate, Mr. Sunday Okpara and Abdurrahman Razak, for forging the certificate of the University of Abuja for the two officials of FRSC. Their arrest in Abuja followed a petition by the Corps Marshal, Dr. Boboye Oyeyemi, to the commission, in which he alleged that the two officials had approached the management of FRSC with first Bachelor of Science degrees in public administration from the University of Abuja to be upgraded to Officer Keda. ICPC, in the course of investigation, found out that the two FRSC officials were students of the distance learning program of the university. However, they could not graduate due to poor results, as documents from the university show they had multiple carryovers in the courses registered. This allegedly made them to approach the forgery syndicates to prepare the forged degree certificates for them to present to their organization for upgrade of their cadre. Meantime, a member of the syndicate, Wazak, who claims to be a printer, told ICBC operatives that he used an original certificate from the university obtained from a friend to perfect the forgery. Other members of the syndicate include Matthias Ibitie, Usman Dajuma, and Uchena Ifonu. The matter will be charged to courts upon the conclusion of investigation. This exercise is part of the collaboration between ICPC and FRSC to weed out corruption from the core. That will be all on this segment. Corruption must go continues with Murna. Stay with us. They say every day is for the thief, one day for the owner of the house. But ICPC, the Anti-Corruption Commission, has reversed the role. It is now every day for the owner of the house. If you're involved in bribery, over-invoicing, or any shady deal, the day of reckoning has come. ICPC, the Anti-Corruption Commission, is watching you. If you're reported for any corrupt practice, you'll be investigated, prosecuted, and punished. Corruption is harmful to our nation. Join the campaign against it by reporting any corrupt practice to ICPC, the Anti-Corruption Commission. Let me join hands with ICPC, make a better Break the chain of corruption now. Don't give, don't take. This message is brought to you by ICPC, the Anti-Corruption Commission. The public service is a term used to explain the entirety of the organizations that constitute government's mechanism of executing policies and programs and delivering services that meet the needs of the citizenry. The fundamental role of the public service is to serve the public the community, and the nation. Considering the enormous work that they do, 23rd June is therefore set aside specially to recognize the value and virtue of the public service in the overall development of African countries. ICPC spoke with some Nigerian workers on this special day.
public servant, I am where I work, fellow minister of works and housing. Uh, we contribute immensely towards uh, generating revenue in the federal government. Uh, because we plant building pilots, building for the world, and a uh, certain amount of money is being generated and paid to the TSE account the federal government. So, in that aspect, there are numerous of them to be as public servants, just like the name implies, servants are meant to serve and serving our fatherland in this context, we know what it takes and what it means to serve. Integrity must be key. Love for the fatherland, patriotism must be, you know, paramount. And so when we have these policies in mind and we are ready to put in our best, knowing that the way we lay our beds, so we lie on it, knowing that we are not being reckoned with in the community of nations as Africans, whereas we have so much, knowing that it is uh, the way we present ourselves that the world will take us. I think as civil servants in Africa, we need to really be, you know, to up our games. Public service is being a debate and serves the government. All this ministry you are seeing all of was created under ministry. So since uh, the inception of various uh, federal government That if a government, if any administration is happy with any agenda like holding house structure, uh, holding house structure, and some other key infrastructure that government has to do, we are always uh, helping him to help the government to ensure that we have this thing that we have The importance of uh, public servants. So, nation development cannot be overemphasized because we, as public servants, we have been trust with the public mandate to serve the public well, especially in the area of implementing government policies in a transparent manner. You will agree with me that uh, the federal government is currently working on ease of doing government business in creating transparency and bringing to the public governance where everyone is the stakeholder. All of this is aimed at developing, at developing the sector economically, socially, culturally, otherwise. And uh, our role again as public servants is to monitor how these programs have been executed by different NDAs.
The delivery of government service to the public is often hampered by corruption. Corruption entrenches inefficiency and mediocrity in the service and ultimately leads to economic downturn of a nation. If a country's future is to be secured, there is need to monitor activities in the public service in order to ensure an efficient and corruption-free service for societal development. As a nation, Nigeria adopted the Open Government Partnership in 2017 and made a commitment to fiscal transparency, anti-corruption, access to information and citizens' engagement. As an anti-corruption measure, ICPC institutionalized the anti-corruption and transparency units in MDAs to perform all the duties of ICPC except for prosecution. The Commission also carries out systems of studies and reviews of MDAs with a view to closing every loophole through which corruption could occur. As we celebrate this year's Public Service Day, what role can public servants themselves play in stopping corruption in their various places of assignment? Again, we spoke to a cross-section of Nigerian workers. One of the things that uh, is very critical in the public service is that there are rules and regulations. And I think that one of the ways we can entrench uh, accountability, transparency, and so on, is to do what we're expected to do. Uh, let us respect rules and regulations uh, so that whatever it is that we are doing, uh, let us do it in line with what has been prescribed for us. I think most times, uh, the reason we find ourselves doing uh, uh, corrupt things is because we try to circumvent, you know, procedures and processes that have been put in place. So I believe if we can obey the rules, uh, it will help us a lot in being accountable. Uh, let's know that we are holding trust on behalf of the people, and so we are working for the people. To sincere corruption has eaten deep um, into the civil service. No. I believe um, it's on individual basis um, because just like um, the, the saying, change begins with me, it's um, from individuals. We have to set aside greed and be contempted with what we have. A lot of people join the civil service just to, so there's this normal saying, wait for your time in the civil service. And what that means is wait for your time to join the train of corrupt people. So I believe from let's change that perception, it has to be from individuals. We have to change that perception. You're coming here to work, you're coming here to make a change, you're not coming here to steal. So I believe change will be the thing. We should set up a cycle. By not um, agreeing to it or being a part of it, if I say no, I may in my own little way encourage other people around me to say no to whatever corrupt practices or corrupt uh, issues or whatever it is that is happening in the public service. I believe if I say no and the next person says no and the other person says no, it's a change. It's something that happens you know, collectively. Before you know what's happening, everybody will buy the idea that corruption is wrong. It's um, it's uh, police service. Some servants are in a way like even when you do your work diligently, you are helping in helping corruption. And of course, you yourself to make sure that you are upright in your dealings. So public servants do a lot in helping corruption in the society. Well, everyone has their role to play. Since the advent of this government since 2015, the issue of corruption has been at the front burner of government. And a lot of exercise, a lot of functions, a lot of doctrines have come and been put in place towards ensuring that money associated for public development is informed by being the public servant or the, civil, uh, or the political class. 
Like I told you, the is of the government business. It's a medium to monitor a lot of things, even budgeting, procurement processes and the rest. So that at the end of the budget year, feedback are gotten and a lot of interventions like the ICBC, they're involved in budget monitoring. The Auditor General is there as well too. People from the Finance, Auditor General, I mean, Auditor General Confirmation. There are a lot of checks and balances. Even the EFC Secrets of Justice. To us looking at how government fund as allocated or as appropriated are used appropriately towards the development of Nigerians. I am a Nigerian, a highly cultured race. My culture abhors corruption, and with my integrity, a new Nigeria is possible. I say no to corruption today to build a future for my children. Join me and imbibe the culture of integrity to build a Nigeria of our dreams. Since the public service is the implementer of government policies for development and the provision of services, it is important for public officers to maintain integrity in all their dealings, as this will pave way for not only a dedicated, efficient and ethical public service, but also one that delivers service to the citizenry and helps enhance their quality of life. ICPC is not resting on its laurels and in collaboration with the MDAs and other partners will continue to work out solutions to the problem. That will be all on this edition. You can watch the program on our YouTube channel www.youtube.com forward slash ICPC Nigeria and for more information on what the Commission is doing follow us on our social media platform as shown on the screen. Thank you for watching and see you again next week, Wednesday at 3.30 p.m. Happy Public Service Day once again.